You, like me, have probably seen those videos floating around of someone on the streets going up to some jacked guy or girl and saying, what is it? What's your secret? And typically the answer is something along the lines of, it's 95% nutrition, baby. Just look at me. Well, I would like to dispel that myth and give you a couple of reasons why. G'day, my name is Dom. I'm an old guy, I'm 55, and I just want dads to be strong again. Physically prepared, mentally sharp, capable, able to mentor their kids, particularly our young boys going into young manhood. And I simply want us to have the sense of, let's call it, sensibility about what is good food, good nutrition, good diet, and all the rest. So before we go any further, please like, please subscribe. Please maybe even tell a friend that you found some old fart on the internet that's maybe worth listening to. So is it really 90% nutrition? Well, I don't think so because here's why. There are a couple of examples. Now, if you're here in Australia, and no doubt this is probably the same in the US when it particularly comes to the ball sports like NFL and soccer, and down here we have AFL and rugby, which are obviously quite popular. Look at anyone, look at anyone of those guys who has finished at the elite level, being paid a couple hundred grand a year, maybe millions, and in the year or two after, they continue the same sort of lifestyle as far as the eating side, but they don't do much of the other side. So they come off, they're no longer hitting the gym every day, they're no longer running, because most of these are, let's call it, they are endurance sports and not necessarily strength sports, and you see them. Case in point, no offense, Billy Brownless, but he ballooned up big. Jason Crawford also too, for those of you who are familiar with AFL, and we see this in other sports as well too. So if it was all just nutrition and they kept eating the same way they did when they were at the elite level and they were quite, let's call it fit looking, why are they not looking the same again? Likewise too, you'd look at the, the fit guy or the fit girl and they say that to you. My challenge back to that individual is this. Okay, for the next month, I want you to do one thing. I want you to only do whatever nutrition protocol that you are doing. I don't want you to walk. I don't want you to go to the gym. I don't want any form of working out. I want you to be like the rest of us. I want you to get shit out of sleep. I want you to go to bed at midnight, get up at 4 a.m. And I want you to repeat that and have crappy habits Everywhere else apart from your nutrition has got to be on point. Come back and see me in 30 days and let's see if you're still as jacked and tanned and if your nutrition has done everything that you say it would be. Now, sure enough, it's easy for me just to throw shade at that, but I'm doing it for a reason because there are a lot of us out there that look and have these people put up on, let's call it, some form of pedestal about, I want that bikini body. I want that shredded look. I want to look that strong. But then we also say, oh shit, I can't do that. It's too hard. You know, I, I, I don't have the ability to dial in that nutrition. I don't want to be walking around with all my Tupperware and I don't want to be barcode scanning every morsel that goes into my mouth. I want to live a little. You see, that's the reason why I'm doing this because it is not one thing. It is all the things. And I don't care how many research papers that you want to read or they want to spout off to say, here's the example of a certain thing. It's more than that. It's what we might call, it is a complete package. So let's start with the stuff that we can do today and move forward. Let's take four or five, shall we? First of all is sleep. When we get shitty, crappy sleep and we don't sleep properly, our body does not rest. It does not restore. It does not let the inner workings go to work and burn off whatever we've eaten during the day or clean and get rid of all the junk and the crap that's built up from the stress, the hormones, everything else that we've gone throughout the day. You see, a good night's sleep will do far better than you counting your macros in the long term because, again, I can cite stuff but there are proven stuff that when people do get adequate amounts of street, that not only is a great foundation, but it will bolster the food thing if you decide to go down that path. Number two, neat. 
Not, hey dad, that's neat, but neat. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That is basically the moving around without you consciously necessarily thinking about doing it. You might be fidgety, you might get up and down and down, you might have a standing desk, you might want to walk around. You might have a job like a security guard where you're on your feet and you're moving throughout the day. You are getting your neat. I include in my neat my daily walks with the dogs because it is part of my routine. I don't see them as a workout. They are two lots of 30 minutes during the week and a lot longer on the weekends that I get to take the pooches out, I strap the headphones on and I listen to a favorite podcast or some stuff that I'm trying to learn and get better at. They are all part and parcel towards my overall energy expenditure, which is part of that equation of which the nutrition thing is only one part of. Now, the third thing I want to throw at this is... It's the fitness thing. It's the working out thing. For you, it might be the running thing. For me, it is a bit of everything. Particularly, I like to do the weights thing. I love my assault bike. It's sitting behind me and the rower and the skier. Treadmill, not so much. But yet, if I want that, it's there. I also will stuck a couple of plates in the ruck and go for a weighted walk. You see, I think, personal opinion here, that at 55, the best thing that I have done is get back into the weights thing in a more serious effort after, God forbid, 42 being my smack in the face moment of medical emergencies to see Dom wake the goddamn F up. You see, my working out, my getting better, my building skeletal muscle mass, and there is a lot more of this stuff out there. You're seeing the likes of Gabrielle Lyon, you're seeing the likes of Dr. Andy Galpin, they've been on Huberman, they've been on Rogan, they've been on all the podcasts, all talking about how now skeletal muscle mass is the biggest organ of the body. And without it, our quality of life goes into the, excuse my French, into the shitter when we get older. So this is a roundabout way of saying, yeah, nutrition, I get it, I understand it, I want to eat clean, I don't want to eat out of packet crap, I just don't want to go to, to the trough every day and be like a porker. I get that. But for those of us that may not have the genetic gifts that God has bestowed upon some other people, or the ability to macro scan, split protein, carbs and fats and just dial things in. And we just want to live because we're old enough and we've got two kids and two dogs and a mortgage and jobs. And we also know how to cook. That's a slag at the other people. For me, my fitness will come first. My fitness will come first. End of story. It's what helps me build the longevity muscle we just talked about. It's what helps me feel better about myself. I've now got an anchor on which I can hold on to all of the other stuff. I'll put my need in there next because if I'm not moving, I'm dying. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'll put my rest in after that, getting good quality sleep because if I don't get it and I wake up, I'm an angry son of a bitch and not a nice person to deal with as are most of us when we have that. It's like the Monday morning hangover when I haven't had a lick of the drink, just like I've been staying up in the weekends till late. And then number four, I will put my nutrition there. It is not 95%. It is part of what I do need to get better. And at some point, I may move it up the line. But for me, getting strong first, putting on good muscle, getting good sleep, getting my ass up and moving around and being active and living a life befitting what I want to have when I get into my 60s and so on, and that's for me only five years away, and then I'll hang on to the nutrition thing because there are many other ways and protocols about I can do that without me barcode scanning, counting my macro split, or otherwise walking around with Tupperware containers. That's it. My name is Don. Please, if you like this, share it. If you don't like it, please let me also know too. Comment below. I'm a big man. I don't care what you have to say because <laughs> I would say that I'm right, but I'm not. It's just that I've been here for a long time and I've seen the evolution of social media and the evolution of people hanging on the one thing as not being the one thing. The one thing is the fact that there are other things. Go out and try all the things.